Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for September 6th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair surged to the upside during today's market action, broke through previous areas of resistance, closed higher, uh, should be pushing higher at least up to the 79.00 mark. Uh, we are looking for it potentially to go as high as 79.26, possibly as low as 78.08. Look for some resistance around 79.05 and look for some support around 78.50. Now the Euro USD pair continues to move to the upside overall, broke through previous area of resistance. Uh, we are looking for it to potentially go as high as 127.26, possibly as low as 12500. Look for some resistance around 126.50 and look for some support around 125.50. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair moved to the upside, closed higher, look for it to continue its move in that direction, uh, potentially going as high as 160.10, possibly as low as 158.26. Look for some resistance around 159.50 and look for some support around 158.50. Now, uh, we have the U.S. Swiss moving sideways <clears throat> overall, should be heading to the downside. Long term is down. Look for it to uh, potentially go as high as 0, 0.9641, possibly as low as 0.9459. Uh, look for some resistance around 0, 0.9615 and look for some support around 0, 0.9500. Now, as far as news analysis go, we do have some significant news announcements being released tomorrow at 4.30 a.m. Eastern. The Bank of England uh, is releasing their inflation report for the next or projections for the next 12 months. Um, no consensus given. Previous was 3.7 percent. Then at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, we have the net change in employment for the Canadian dollar being released for August. Consensus on that one. Uh, is that it has moved higher from a negative 30.4K up to 10K. Their unemployment rates being released at the same time, showing a hold at 7.3%. Then at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, we have the U.S. change, uh, the, the unemployment rate, uh, non-farm payroll being released. Uh, employment rate, they're showing a hold at 8.3%. Non-farm, they're showing a drop from 163K down to 130K. Then at 10 a.m. Eastern, we have the pound uh, releasing their gross domestic product estimates for August. No consensus given. Previous was negative 0.2%. Now, what am I looking for during this last session? Well, if we take a look at the pound, the pound broke through previous highs. Didn't did close kind of right at them, but still broke through, moving higher. The, U, the Euro USD. Broke previous highs, moving higher. But the U.S. Swiss did not break previous lows. We have three here for a trend line. This pair is highly correlated to the Euro USD pair. This pair should be moving lower. Should have made a new low. That did not happen. So I am looking for a breakout to the downside. If you want to drop down to the 15 minute time frame and take another look at it, you can see here that trend line. You can clean up that trend line to some degree uh, so that it is a little bit cleaner on the smaller time frames. But uh, nonetheless, you can see we are roughly, roughly about 19 pips from that. Uh, from that low. I do believe we will break out to the downside. We have potential down here right at the 9,500 mark. Not sure we're going to break through that point, but nonetheless, we have a good 18 pips worth of movement uh, that I could very well see happen uh, during this next session. So looking to sell right here, looking to exit right at the 9,500 mark, 0.9500 and putting a stop loss right up here, which would be a one-to-one. -one. Well, I hope that helps, and until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.